Yeah, I'm not familiar with uh, with Dead's background, so this is curious. But he's going to open the frags for his side. Rush will answer back, and I'm, I'm, that's really interesting to me. Not not just because he's playing, but just that Phelps is unavailable. Because as far as as far as we know, Bolts is not signed to SK. Although, yeah, I think he's definitely still on loan from Immortals. But I mean. Like if, if they had signed him, what reason is there not to announce it? I don't know. So I'm just going to assume that he isn't. Let's see if Stewie can stop this plant though from going down. And maybe the plant will be aborted for the time being because there is time to abort said plant. Despite the shadow being uh, a disadvantage for Mr. Ricardo there, Dead will indeed get a kill. And that leaves automatic alone. He's making some footsteps, trying to bait out some players. And you see the right clicks, click, 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 click from Taco. Just like, I am baiting you, and you know I am, but there's not much you can do about it. Or is there? Looking for the 180, but not. Sorry, SHZ is joining Immortals. Immortals, yeah. So <clears throat> it seems that Bolts is indeed on the way out. And maybe, maybe they sign SHZ, <coughs> and then the, the ink dries on the Bolts to SK contract. It might be that order, right? Mm. Let's give ourselves a solution before we just keep up with problems. That's two plays lost for SK in the first. We realize with 20 seconds left, they've got to make a move. It's a it's a long trek across the A site. And Cold Zero, I think, is looking to uh, to flank these plays once the rotation comes in. So it's a two versus three on the A bomb site, and automatic didn't commit to the first pick. What? Fallen is just going to wreck everyone, and now Cold Zero is in position, so he's containing these plays. He's waiting for them. But it's a nice peek from Stewie 2K. That is absolutely absurd. And Automatic has to, I mean, Automatic doesn't know if there's one or two people there, which may uh, speak to his hesitation. How strong is this angle from Fur? He avoids the flashbang and he's not going to be checked for. That's one player spotted. Down to Fallen to find the last kill here, but Tarek has a, su a superior angle. But boy, was there damage done to Cloud9. That was cool. Now, what, what is the read of Cloud9? If Stewie has an angle on that plateau, he will see that no one is there. Taco caught lurking. There's 44 seconds on the clock. And indeed, the rotation for Cloud9 starts to come in towards the A site. They realize the numbers game is there for Cloud for SK. SK playing it slow, waiting for an overextension, waiting for the CTs to try and find out what's going on. But the CTs will give up easily. Stewie will take it down on the high ground. Automatic will put a smoke down on the site. He may drop a flashbang through it. 20 second mark. His teammate goes down. His teammates are falling around him. Two versus four. Can he delay the plant long enough? Fall and take it down towards the cannons, but the trays will come in fast. Now they know Stewie in the one versus two is the last man around the connector position. He'll drop a smoke out. Give himself more areas to fight from. But there are two there are three positions into A that they that he can come from in the next few seconds. And two players to cover them, although Fur can deal with two at the same time. Dead will be holding down the balcony position, but steps have been made. Stewie falling down now. How do we get a one versus one? Trying to pre fire the wood. But Dead will... Cloud9. Stop. Taco has been enabled. Taco has been disabled. Oh, what is that? Peeking through the flames. Rush, you hero. That was hilarious. And very brave, very brazen, very unexpected. You never see that. You never see that. And it's given them a man advantage. But with only three to uh, to the side of SK, Dead is still in the tower, by the way. He is still in the tower as if his keyboard has disconnected. It's on tower duty. Someone's got to do it. So three on three. Lots of footsteps being made. At least they know there's no flank. But Cloud9 are hungry for this info. Four, four. And maybe Cold Zero has allowed his teammate to bait for him by running away. And Oh, that's glorious. That's a nice reaction as well from SK in a very uh, difficult spot. It doesn't matter really almost how many players your opponent has when you've got three players left so early. And it continues. Kadoodle with the CZ. The Molotov's not deep enough, but he will finally be eliminated. Dongler's towards long. <laughs> so everything you say makes me laugh. Like, it's, I don't know if it's the British or there's the quirkiness. I like the uh, Olaf, the, the uh, new and improved Olaf smoke, the Olaf 2.0, where it falls into Broken Wall and you can see over it. That's kind of cool. It's interesting to see that be innovated. Hard to look away from that flashbang. Well, Dead has been taken out towards A. So the eyes have been taken off the beast. Oh. 
It's an interesting bounce. Yeah, two players in the red. One of them's dead. Tarek forced out of the site, but is it retake or is it uh, abandoned ship? Smoke down at a choke point. I was talking to Fallen at MLG Columbus. He was saying that there is. It was just so hard to retake B. The spam from SK, and it seems that it's going to be a five man on road play. Taco has been activated once again, and now the madness will begin. But North Americans are no strangers to Bedlam play. We'll see if Cloud9 can fight back on a difficult CT map rush in the smoke. And uh, the T's not going to focus on the bomb plant just yet. The uh, smokes have disappeared, and the counter flashes are coming in for the CT side. But Rush will be taken down by Dead, and only Taco will die. Which and he's in the drop, and ooh, there's a trade to me. Look at that, Stewie popping out Rush being the bait and that has severely disabled SK and now they feel compelled to press on Cold Zero with the AWP at very close range. There are already two orps on the Cloud9 team. Cold Zero's still got full grenades. He can flash for his teammate. Dead has got to find the entries. Cold Zero trying to tease. Two flashes used and now it's down to Dead to clutch. One versus three. Can he plant the bomb? Stewie with a lovely off angle. Although Taco is still harassing. That flash is going the wrong way. This is pretty cool. It's a man of many talents, apparently. They've given the responsibility of opping when there's players like Cold Zera and Taco in the server. Oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. It's not something you see every day. So, Taco's not been able to have much success elsewhere, and. See, dead. This is a bad situation for SK. Two versus five with two AWPs. There is sometimes when you think you're safe and then it spreads fully and you have to run the entire thing to get it. Both teams have lost a player. Taco continues to harass towards the B bomb site, but it seems there's a full rotation. Dead, and he's spotted a second player. That's a great headshot onto Tarek. Dead. Doing a lot of damage for his side. Automatic stopping the split now. So there's one player per site, but the bomb has gone too far. There are still five zero minutes, uh, seconds on the clock. Cold Zero, does he try to walk? Does he spot the rotation? He's heard the sound cues. They're both <sighs> rotating. That is glorious for Cold. He's heard both of them. So what is he doing? Did he hear? Did he hear two for sure? I mean, yeah. I feel, it seems it's, like he's not confident for some reason. Yeah, maybe he's just not believing. He just doesn't understand what they're doing. So he, he's. Uh, <laughs> this is so absolutely crazy. I can't yeah, believe. It. Yeah, he can plant for Taco now. Twenty seven seconds and. Yeah, they're very confused. That is really funny. Yeah, I mean, he must be assuming that it was one player, even though they were very separate sound keys. But now the plant comes in. Can Taco get back into position? It seems he can. Going back into connector, and the CTs have split up. You hear, he's just realized where Rush is. A total Flintstones moment from Cloud9 as they run back to the site they left. So it's grenades flying in. A jump from Rush, and... Uh, He's going to get shot straight in the head. So, Automatic has limited options, and now SK can go for the bait setup. They know where Automatic is. He only knows where one player is. The bomb is ticking, and he may make his escape. He's got three flashes. It's annoying when someone throws a flash. So, someone tweeted me and said that Bolt can't play because of his ping, but I would assume they mean Phelps can't play because of his ping, because Bolt can't play because he's on the roster, as far as ECS is concerned. So, well, hopefully uh, Bolt can return for, for the remainder of the SK matches at the very least, but we will see. Damage done by Stewie, playing around the smokes to start things off, but there's only two players left here for SK. Fallen and dead, although dead will open up the B bomb sites. And the bomb may not have been spotted just yet. Pre firing the usual angles. He knows his stuff, and Stewie has made a misplay. The smoke, smoke had like a giant gap in it. It wasn't went unnoticed. And it seemed, I wonder if what, what Fallen was doing going back, if he was planning on leading towards A, or if Det called him back because he thought he had the chance to get a kill, but it looks like now Fallen's going to play the long con, try to separate into two 1v1s. Now it's just about, like, I'd pay attention to what angles he clears here because he's going to make a guess as to where the one CT that he thinks is still here is left. 
you go for all the fat, the free angles that you can, and then you just gotta start picking spots. Automatic picks a better one. Man. The two flashes, one of which has been deployed, but Cold Zero manages to avoid it. Very early peak from him, not yielding much. We'll see dead in the drop zone, but only with a uh, only with a USP. So in the previous maps, we saw HEs there, we saw CZ, we even saw dual brothers, but. Just USP for SK. Maybe they will regret that. Maybe it's something to think about later. Two players meeting and the smoke, but no sound cues being given away just yet. Stewie now running away from the B bomb sites. Bomb heading towards A and first got himself a nice off angle. Taco taken down in the meantime. I think if there's only spotted one player on the site, he could still think that those two players are one. But now it is uh, ultimately irrelevant. Maybe if it was new, I would have a stronger opinion about it. We've got Cardo in Bolt's position outside the drop. Fur taking long. Can't hold it. And a wonky spray from Rush to close this round out, potentially. Taco's big flank is is out, but this site is too massive to get all these kills. I mean, they would you'd have to see two mistakes at once, potentially. Everything's covered though. Oh, they might be just looking for him, however. See what his his plan is. No kit. He wants more than one kill. I knew he would do this. I knew it. I knew that Taco. He realizes one versus four. He needs to find two kills at once. It's not enough to just kill one person. So if he can get a jump on someone, it, it, it's it's gonna work. Oh, Tarek's in a tricky spot. There's no one here to defend against long B plat. But Fallen appears. Wow. Extra people towards B, but they still leave somebody in there. So it's going to be a two versus four now that Automatic has made his way out of connector. Oh, so despite the plays of the CT side, it's not going to work out for them. Oh, Fallen! He's so lucky and dead. Delivers a kill from the site. There's a pop back trying to buy time. He's going to pick before it as well. Smart stuff, showing his own experience. Oh. Another kill for Dead what? and another one. Gets himself a 3k on the site as to what SK might be, what Cloud9 might be doing in this round. And they don't seem to be incorrect. Fast grenades from the seats from the T side. Lots of counter flashes that are trying to slow him down. Attacker's going to play through the smoke with Cold Zero. So many flashbacks. How does Cold peak in this situation? He will be rained on through the wall. Attacker's gone down as well. They took gambles. They haven't paid off. SK facing a reset. What they do in this situation? There goes Fur. Oh, this is a complete disaster. Wow. That's a total turn. What does that mean? Broccoli is technically an Afro. That's Cold Zero through the smoke once again. Can he get two kills? No, just the one. And Taco's going to force his way through anyway. High flashes from him. He's by the flames. But he's got to come back out again. They need to be careful of being uh, shot through the smoke. These CTs in some common positions. But they haven't got to four versus two advantage now. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Stewie finding a player in an expected spot. Catching four with his knife in his wall, isn't it? Oh, I guess yeah. that wouldn't show up. So they are being, in a way, subjected to the same thing they've done themselves. Oh, that's it. So, dead. Oh, he's going to make the hero play again, isn't he? Easy for dead. Behind there. Taka will keep his position on the plateau as he waits for to come in. Automatic taken down. A timely peek from Cold Zero. Some harassment with the UMP from Taco. The flashes will fly and fly to both sides. And Cold Zero in a very exposed position will stay alive for a second or two longer. Taco. Oh, you can't boost from there. Yeah, maybe realizing, hitting the ridge as well, and they will reposition, but there's no smoke down here, which may have helped the CT side. So they're in a very awkward position, waiting for Fallen to begin his flank. If he picks off Skadoodle with the AWP, then that gives them movement around the tree, but the trades will rain in. Oh, has he spotted Skadoodle? He's heard him, and he's taken him out. He knows Tarek was by, by the tr uh, quick position, doesn't see him reposition. Picks up an M4. Spinning around. Oh, that is a glorious shot from Fallen. That is so crucial for them. And that will allow them to get to 14 11 0. He can't see the trajectory of that grenade, and now he's in trouble. How does he escape this position? The Molotovs are flying in as well, and he won't get anything from it. That's a, almost a free bomb site. The CT's getting annihilated, rotating. SK made the wrong play, and it's cost them the rounds. And it may cost them all their weapons. Does he spot a second play there for it? He doesn't. Most of no scope, but now Fur is left with a UMP. The grenades come in towards the correct site. They've made the right play. Fur's got a UMP and ooh, flashbang. He will not fire a single bullet, but it'd be time for a rotation from these players. The 
Molotov on the site will not land. Dead. Oh, he's gonna get. Oh, so close. Never mind. The round is over. If he got that set, then use those flashes to good effect as they often do. So here it comes. Here it begins. First, who has the smoke, but he is. Uh, who knows where he is? Dead gets taken down, keeping an eye on the drop position. So less than ideal setup for SK on the B bomb site, and they get absolutely wrecked. Completely annihilated. Zero for five trades. Everybody rounds. In terms, of, in terms of A rounds, not rounds in general. Seen such good use of late smoke grenades in Europe. See from some uh, from some American sides as well. Sides in North America, more appropriate to say. It's Canadians here too. Oh, Cogs are off to a good start. One for one though is not good enough. And uh, SK is split between the sites. Look how desperate the situation is. Taco hiding around plant pods and gets one kill. May delay things a, a slight bit, but two versus three. Fur can deploy a smoke, but he will use that one to move forward, and that may be something that Tarek regrets. Fallen picks up an AK in the meantime. Now Fur, he can flash behind the smoke if he wants to. Again, he can smoke the balcony. Or, or try to. He goes for a super high one and Fallen peaks before it goes off and can't get anything done. Fur versus two. He's got a smoke, but that's going to be that. Uh, 16 to 14.